Hyberflex products are once again another Duraflex exclusive in the flooring industry. At Duraflex, we have taken steps to design overall systems that now take the key traits of individual products and then multiply the benefits to the customer. By utilizing positive features that complement each other, your end result is a spectacular finished floor product that competitors simply cannot match. The contractor not only saves time through improved labor steps, but also controls his project liability to moisture transmission with the addition of a special polycrete base coat. For today's application, we are presenting Hyberflex A with a decorative chip broadcast. Always be sure to read the MSDS and application instructions before starting any job. Always use proper personal protective equipment. After checking for moisture vapor transmission, the preferred method for preparing the concrete is shot blasting. Grind the edges of the floor in hard to reach areas with the dustless hand grinder. For this application, you will need a high speed drill with an 850 RPM minimum, a 4 inch dispersion mixing paddle, a half inch V notch squeegee, flat trowels, an 18 inch loop roller, clean 2 and 5 gallon pails, a 3.5 inch Jiffler mixing paddle, 18 inch 3 8 nap rollers, and 3 inch chip brushes. Also needed are spike shoes, a high speed fan, brooms, a vacuum, and rubber gloves. Using a 4 inch dispersion paddle and proper mixing techniques will ensure the polycrete SL is thoroughly mixed and free of clumps. Hitting the side of the pail will cause plastic shreds. Keep the blade centered or use a metal pail. Select a convenient mix area and protect the floor from spillage. The more organized the mix station is, the less likely you are to have a mix error. For this system, no priming is required. However, very porous substrates may be pre-primed with polycrete TF to prevent materials from being prematurely absorbed. Be sure to have enough manpower to complete all loop rolling within 12 minutes at 70 degrees Fahrenheit. For the application of Polycrete SL, you will need two people mixing, one person hand trawling and loop rolling, one person squeegeeing, and one person broadcasting. Apply Polycrete SL with a half inch notch squeegee at 55 to 60 square feet per kit to achieve 1 8 inch thickness. And loop roll thoroughly. When loop rolling, be sure to roll in all directions until the squeegee lines disappear. And broadcast microchips at 0.15 pounds per square foot or macro chips at 0.1 pounds per square foot. Polycrete SL comes in three part kits, the resin, hardener, and aggregate. Pour the resin component into the center of the mixing pail, being sure to avoid the sides. Scrape along the sides of the resin pail with a paint stick, making sure no amount of residue remains. Pour the entire hardener component into the mixing container. Mix the resin and hardener well for 30 seconds. Gradually add the entire contents of the aggregate while continuing to mix to avoid clumping. Continue to mix thoroughly for one minute. Never use an aggregate bag that is wet or broken as clumping or blistering may occur. And always add the entire bag of aggregate to the mix or blistering will occur. Immediately pour the entire batch onto the floor in an 8 to 12 inch ribbon. Spread the material with a half inch V notched squeegee and hand trowel the edges. Pour each successive batch 6 to 8 inches into the previously placed material. Pull the squeegee east to west, spreading materials uniformly. Apply even pressure on the squeegee while keeping a slow and steady pace. Immediately roll with an 18 inch loop roller to eliminate lines and help release air. Prior to broadcasting, wait approximately 10 minutes at 80 degrees Fahrenheit, 15 minutes at 70 degrees Fahrenheit, or 20 minutes at 60 degrees Fahrenheit. This will be approximately 6 to 10 batches behind the wet line. When broadcasting chips, make sure to throw them high and let them rain down onto the surface. This will ensure uniform coverage. Continue this process until the broadcast is complete. Allow the Polycrete SL to cure for a minimum of 6 hours at 70 degrees Fahrenheit.
Sweep up the excess chips and be sure to vacuum around the edges. Apply Duraglaze number 4 with a flat squeegee at 100 square feet per gallon. Back roll and cross roll and broadcast chips at 0.1 pound per square foot or 10 pounds per 100 square feet. For both top coats, you will need a separate person mixing, pouring and brushing, squeegeeing, and rolling. The mix ratio for Duraglaze number 4 is one part hardener and two parts resin. Measure out the hardener component and pour it into a separate mixing pail. Be sure to scrape the sides of the container and always scrape the stick on the measuring pail, not the mixing bucket. Measure out the resin component and pour it into the center of the mix pail. Scrape along the sides of the resin pail with a paint stick, making sure no amount of residue remains. And always scrape the stick on the measuring pail, not the mixing bucket. Mix thoroughly for two minutes. Immediately after mixing, pour the contents onto the floor in a ribbon and begin cutting in. Pull the squeegee east to west, spreading materials uniformly. Apply even pressure on the squeegee while keeping a slow and steady pace. Before beginning the back roll, thoroughly wet out the roller in the wet edge. Back roll the material against the squeegee lines with a 3 8 inch nap roller. Cross roll the material side to side overlapping the previous pass with half the roller width. When broadcasting chips, make sure to throw them high and let them rain down onto the surface. This will ensure uniform coverage. Depending on the desired texture, there are different methods for preparing the surface prior to top coats. Consult the Hyberflex application instructions for a complete list of methods. The fastest method to prepare the chips for a smooth surface is to use a medium to soft nylon bristle brush attached to a floor machine. Thoroughly sweep up and vacuum the excess chips. For the first top coat, flat squeegee Duraglaze number 5 at 100 square feet per gallon. Back roll and cross roll with an 18 inch 3 8 nap roller. For both top coats, you will need a separate person, mixing, pouring and brushing, squeegeeing, and rolling. Duraglaze number 5 comes in two part kits, the resin and hardener. Add the hardener to the resin container. Mix thoroughly using a Jiffler mixer with a slow speed 450 RPM drill for one minute. Immediately after mixing, pour the contents onto the floor in a ribbon and begin cutting in. Pour each new batch directly onto the wet edge. Pull the squeegee east to west, spreading materials uniformly. Apply even pressure on the squeegee while keeping a slow and steady pace. Before beginning the back roll, thoroughly wet out the roller in the wet edge. Back roll the material against the squeegee lines with a 3 8 inch nap roller. Cross roll the material side to side overlapping the previous pass with half the roller width. Because of its fast working time, do not re-roll material after 3 minutes. Continue this process until the top coat is complete. The recoat time at 70 degrees Fahrenheit is a minimum of 6 hours and a maximum of 48. The second top coat of Duraglaze number 5 is applied in the same manner as the first, except the coverage rate is changed to 200 square feet per gallon.